Hey YouTube, what's going on? Junior here. And today we have the Resident Evil Showcase. It's been live. I'm late, but whatever. We're gonna catch in the video anyway. Check it out. All right, let's see this. Totally did not get lost trying to set up a new sound fire. That was the maximum level of volumes. Holy crap, I'm sorry about that. Resident Evil Showcase, let's go. Oh my, company. How on earth did the, you get in The Duke, here? right? Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. I am but a humble merchant. Purveyor of goods to lords and ladies, prophets, and priestesses. I must say, like, I'm pretty sure it's the Duke. I do so strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. But of okay. course it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. I deal in all manner of commerce, but today I trade in knowledge. All right, what kind of knowledge you got, man? Veritable hoard of information gathered from all throughout the realms of man. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be for like the, the um, Resident Evil 4 remake, right? The higher the price, but you look like you're well aware. It's not like the they didn't tell me beforehand, and I kind of could totally forgot. Since we're here, I've got a <laughs> Capcom's like, we like Worker Junior. He always forgets everything you tell him. I'm like, ah, there you go, Village, and the Winter DLC. Okay. Ooh, world premiere. The Winter's legacy lives on. All right, cool. Capcom. <laughs> Happy half birthday, Rose. Oh boy. Father's nightmare comes to an end, but in third person. I oh man. My daughter. This is the way this game is meant to be played. Always be there for you. I don't really no like matter. the first person in Resident Evil. It's kind of rough. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like it's just like uh, you know the type of game it is. It needs to be in third person. I just feel like at all times. If you want the first person, you get the first person. You know. Rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. The bomb, bomb. This is like in the future, like mad in the future, huh? I'm so sorry. Although I am kind of wondering how many years in the future is this? That's that's her. Yeah. Well after village. Now the daughter must face her fears. Ethan Winter. Oh, okay, so I guess he dies. I didn't I'm not gonna lie, I didn't finish the game yet. <laughs> well now I know. <laughs> Good to know. I don't know how I die, but you know, apparently I died. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Like the earwax monster. Oh. Sometimes I feel lost or afraid. Bro, I thought she still had her hand out. I'm like, why is her hand still like a gun? What he might have said to me. Here. No matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. Is the Duke the main boss or something? Was he the one orchestrating this whole thing? He just made you think that he was your friend selling you stuff. I've got this. Oh boy. Also, this always makes me think, is Chris a werewolf? Every time I, you know what I'm saying? Like every time I see that like that scene right there, I'm like, is Chris a werewolf? I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director of the Winter's. I guess we'll find out this next week. Because I'm going to get Resident Evil Village, uh, the Gold Edition, I'll play through it. And in the end, you see how 16 year old. What kind of person is 16 year old Rose? Oh, OK, cool. That's what we wanted to explore. So we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. You said you had something important to tell me. 
She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. Interesting. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. Wait, so like, what kind of power is she? Oh, is the I guess it's probably the end of the game, huh? Going back one more time to that village. Dang. I thought she was physically the going there. Nightmare is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll, no, or I'm something good. else similarly uh -uh. so completely unrealistic, I can't can deal with those. A fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. Mm -mm. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind no. of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. I literally can't deal with those big dolls, man. My aunt used to have them. Wanted to choose characters that would interest nah. people who didn't play the uh -uh. mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. All right, she's gonna be doing a stream next week Lords, with uh, Jill. Playing them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. Being able to play them was more fun, so that's why we chose those characters. I do have to say, a lot of the, the enemies that you saw in this Resident Evil seem pretty ridiculous. Like, I thought Nemesis was bad, but then I'm like looking at all these other guys, I'm like... doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. Oh, dang. adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. So you literally have to kill everybody. Okay. Dang. A new FPS, POV. You experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. Yeah. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first person perspective. It is kind of jarring. The FPS genre. So we wanted to make a third person mode for those players. I'm glad I did. Enjoy the game to its fullest. I like FPSs. I play like Valorant and stuff like that and like Halo, but like I just well, like these kind of games, of I feel like a third big part of it is not first person, it's third person, you know? When the character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. I think third person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? Yeah. We gave that question some thought. So even in third person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away. And you're not quite <laughs> able to get a good look. Wow. Why'd they do that? That's so weird. Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way. And we hope you really enjoy the experience. That's so weird. Please look forward to it. Thank you. Definitely looking forward to it. For sure. <laughs> like I said, next week's gonna be sponsored by Capcom, so just just know that if you're on on my streams and Twitch, have an amazing that's the agenda. For you. Starting today, a demo for the third person ah, mode nice. is available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode, or the previously existing first person mode. World premiere. Okay. That should be pretty dope. Mission adjustment. No, doesn't change anything. Resident Evil 4. Since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Let's have some fun, people. Yeah, this is like the merc Move this up. is the mercenary mode, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, versus, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a minute, this is the different mode. Which also comes on twenty eighth, I believe. That's gonna be pretty cool. It's like PvP. Resident Evil. I, I saw that. I was like, what? It's going to be interesting. I know if you get like Village, it should come with it if you got the Deluxe Edition before or, and if you got um the uh, the Gold Edition. That's like the enemy from 7, right? Yeah, the old man. Resident Evil R Reverse is free content for those who own Resident free. Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. Yeah. This game has crossplay, and you can fight players across all platforms. 
Those who oh, that's actually nice. I didn't Village realize that. Will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Oh, that's dope. Updates are planned for Resident Evil are reverse after it is six survivors creatures. Oh, that's some nice for the early access and updates. I wonder how long those updates are, you know, like I hope it's not like, you know, 10 months, but it's probably something similar to like Monster Hunter because Monster Hunter is like every three months or something like that. Two, three months. Also, Which I think is a good Resident pacing. Evil Village will be playable on PlayStation VR 2. Hi, this is Akiyama from Sony Interactive Entertainment. <sighs> You know, I'm going to try it and I'm going to hate Evil every Village moment VR of that. Currently in development for PlayStation VR 2 will allow you to explore next gen VR, oh. making the ultimate immersive experience a reality. VR, oh the VR mode in the previous title, Resident Evil 7, was well received by the world thanks to its stunning horror experience. Oh yeah, that was definitely very Evil horror Village experiencing. Takes up the mm -hmm. challenge to improve and enhance the same experience and bring it to the next level. Oh. Man, I am going to have a heart attack, dude. The visual enhancements. Oh, man. The VR mode in Resident Evil Village in 4K HDR. 4K HDR which oh, man. Natural designs to be displayed in the intended colors. Which means you get 2K in each eye. World of Village. Because, you know, VR does like half. The intricacy of Village, shown in high resolution, made Ooh. possible by the PlayStation 5, allows the users to take a closer look at the fine details of various objects and makes the game oh, experience boy. more immersive. I, I want to experience it, but also not like that right there. Compared to Resident Evil 7 on PSVR, both latency and responsiveness have been improved, elevating the VR experience as a whole. Bro, I'm going to legit just run through my wall. This is what's going to happen. I already know it. The second biggest improvement is enhanced immersive sound. Even better audio. That was the part that tripped the audio crap out of me on Seven Men. I literally was setting up the demo for it, like to, like to set up everything. And powerful sound. And it, like just the audio in the in the demo thing, or you know, setting the setup mode. I was like, ah, ah, ah. And dynamically changes the feel. Yeah, this one, this, the headset vibrates. And head movement for a more immersive experience. That's the crazy part. This head, this headset actually vibrates too. Another point of improvement is a more intuitive and realistic gaming experience using the PlayStation VR2 Sense controller. Those look cool. Those are like the vibe, right? I think vibes like that. Only the DualShock 4 was supported in the previous title, but Village now supports the PlayStation VR2 Sense controller, allowing for more intuitive and flexible controls making it feel almost as if you are really there holding the weapons that appear in the game. Damn. There are so many other elements in Village. I want to try it, but I'm, my, my heart's not ready. <laughs> Please look forward to Resident Evil Village VR mode. So I'm also wondering if the VR mode is included in there or if it's a separate thing. And senses. They're making it sound like it's inside because it makes a difference because like when I have to like like, you'd have to get like a separate game technically <laughs> how delightful I, I wonder if it's actually in in the game delectable information ought to be saved <laughs> what's that you want more yes give us more <laughs> what a greedy thing you are of course oh, oh, we're it's here. quite all right i love to see a healthy appetite i'll do my best to sate your hunger excellent Come, have a look at this Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's four. The remake. Man, that looks good. That looks so dang good, dude. Yes. Hello, everyone. That's awesome. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4. <laughs> That's awesome. Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. Good. When is this coming out? That's why I wonder. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Ooh. Love to see it. Man, I want to ask Resident Evil, or I want to ask Capcom if they can hook me with that uh that stinger. I'm like legit gonna ask. <laughs> like, I got, can you uh can you do a solid that stinger that you guys use in the Resident Evil showcase? Is there any way we can get that? That's sick. Oh, 
Oh man, this looks great. It even sounds great too. Hope you guys are wearing headsets when you're like watching this video right here. Oh man, actually this stream looks really good too. Some of the streams we see like, you know, they're not that great. This is actually a really high quality. It's very solid stream. Love it. Okay. Damn, this looks good. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, this looks way too good. I am totally going to be streaming this. 100%. Oh, hey. Better run, bro. Actually, you know what? It's going to be so good to see this like remade too, because some scenes and the colors that the characters wore made it like look kind of weird and like it was jumbled together. So this is going to be nice to have like the definition to see the background separate from the, the characters a lot better, you know? No oh, great. The tendrils coming out of space. Nah, man. Because I'm trying to remember what 4 was like, because I know like in 5 you had the Ouroboros, which is like similar looking to this, because this is like a different T-Virus, right? It's been a minute. It's been so long since I played. Like, I played Resident Evil's when they like first came out, and I never played them. I never went back to go play them again, so I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, is this like still technically like that weird, like, newer T-Virus like variant and then before they go to Ouroboros? Because I think it was 5 that was Ouroboros with like Shiva and was it Chris, right? Hey, play this, Chris. This is Leon. Bruce. This is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? Hey, Hunnigan. Daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Oh boy. Needs time to run out the window. Go. Talk later. Oh. Oh, that's aggressive. Yep. Oh, okay. That's the only way. That was like super aggressive. Like almost nemesis level, right? Not that strong, but yeah. Same kind of aggression. Holy shit. I like how there's no headshots. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> you heard me. Like, wait, no headshots? Well, hold on. I got you, fam. It'd be kind of dope if you could, like, scare the cow and have them. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was like, wait, it'd be kind of cool if you could. Never mind. <laughs> Dude, it's been so long. I've seen this game. So I'm just kind of like, that's kind of funny. Chainsaw, dude. Okay. Dude, this looks so great. Man, this is a good. They just kind of not care about your bullets, dude. Yo, get her pitchfork. I'm gonna hit with the boomstick. Oh, damn, she's gone, bro. Got gap. Bro, I wish I could jump off the freaking roof of a house. Damn, dude. Are they comboing you? Ooh. Oh, 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 man, that, that hitbox right there, man, was sweating. Oh, right in the throat. Got him. Man, I like how he has bullet holes in his face because you obviously shot him in the face. Yo, this looks so dang good, dude. Oh, shank. Oh, I don't know if this would really work. This is a little, you know, <laughs> this is where I'm starting splitting hairs a little bit. I'm like, did you think? Oh, that looks amazing. As you just saw, that looks we so are paying good. Respect to the original game's world. Wow. While implementing new ideas and stated the art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. Man, you know what? This is this is when we remakes are really like worth it. You know what I'm saying? When you have it go from a, that old 
that get over resident evil 4 to this resident evil Ooh. 4 will enjoy oh man that's good no fucking way. this right here worth will have all new ways to attack they are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. Leon fights back with firearms, close combat maneuvers, oh, a new parry. parry using his knife. What? You can parry, bro? Yo, we're playing Street Fighter 3 now? Resource management and what? upgrade elements are critical for survival. We'll hit him with the Just Daigo counter in a second. Ooh. Case effectively that looks so key. good. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry, it's pretty. And synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Over here, stranger. Of course, we can't forget. Oh, the, the merchant. merchant. Something new for you. You can purchase nice. weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. The main character is back. Glad to see it. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you can collected can be exchanged for special items. Oh! <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. Oh! We are rebuilding That's the dope. original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas. Yeah, definitely a remake. I love it. Right, so this is what this is what we want to see, man. This is right here. Now that like exactly is what we want to see. Regarding this product's release. Uh huh. We announced PS4, that PS5. Resident Evil 4 will also be available to play on PlayStation 4 in addition to PlayStation 5. Oh yeah, because they initially said it was PS4 only or PS5 only. Upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. That's awesome. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. The oh, first is the deluxe edition. Yeah, those skins look nice. Yo, content, is that V? Such as costumes, special weapons, a treasure. Bro, you could be V now. Oh, they got the. Next the oh, is what? The physical only collector's edition. This edition includes the Yo. contents of the deluxe edition, as well as a Leon figure, a special map. That artwork, looks soundtrack fantastic. And more. Holy crap, that looks so good. Also. Pre-orders start today, dude. That looks you so good. Standard edition, you'll receive the attaché case, gold, oh, and special charm, nice. and gun ammo. I like how you have the charms. <laughs> That's great. If you pre-order the deluxe edition or collector's edition, you'll receive the standard edition oh. pre-order bonuses, as well as attaché case, classic, and special charm, green herb. Yo, we need the herbs. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive Ooh. a mini soundtrack. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil. Dude, I, okay, I'm still saying this. I've been saying this Thank forever. For watching so Please far. allow us to pre-order digital, to game but pay for the collector edition physical and so send us the physical collector edition later. Before I go, we have one more. Can we do that, for you. please? Can that be Let's a new thing? Can we, can we just do that as a thing? From now on, you know what I'm saying? Just let us let me pre-order it digitally and then reserve a physical copy of the collector edition and then send me the collector because I don't actually want the disc. I don't care. I don't care about the disc, bro. Just give me the, the steel box, whatever. I don't care about this, man. Just just let me get the digital game. Send me all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? What is going on here? Wait, this is uh this is from four. Wait, no. Yeah. You're here looking for someone. Oh, it's the trailer, the cinematic trailer. Okay, I got you. Maybe some missing senorita. Oh, that's homeboy. Ashley. Yo, see, it looks so much better in this Girl. version, man. Okay. Your soul requires cleansing. Oh, yeah. Ashley Graham, oh, yeah. you win here. Oh, Ashley's in there too? Oh, there you go. Just let me go. Listen. <sighs> nice. You're in the president's quarters. And... What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go. Man, this looks so good. Even like the cutscenes is like, like amazing now too. You can stop right there. Dude, I love it. Ada. Oh, Ada. Ada Wong, let's go. Are what are you doing here? The homeboy's there. See, you can actually see the homeboy like a little better, you know what I'm saying? Because he was wearing all brown, the wall's brown, and I can see him. 
clearly. This is good. Oh. Now, abandon your body. Now I'm good. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nah. Not even one kidding. Dude, this looks great. Dude, yes. March 24. Okay, cool. So that's a date. March 24, 2023. A little bit after my birthday. Did you enjoy the Resident Evil showcase? Oh, that was awesome. Let's recap. First, Great. I love Resident recaps. Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. Launches yes. on Friday, October 28th. Next Friday. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion that's includes smart. three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game Ooh. in a new perspective. You got smoke. The powered up, the mercenaries additional orders, and the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Oh, and now yes. I'm kind of wondering what's up with the Duke. The third person mode will be available Play 60 today. minutes on all platforms. That is awesome. The early access period for Resident I love demos like that, you know? Begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Enjoy the extreme feeling of immersion when you play Resident oh, Evil Village on PlayStation VR 2. RE Village. We will have more announcements on PSVR 2. I'm going to literally throw the up. <laughs> I'm going to do Resident it. But like, release on Friday, that's going to be rough. March 24th, 2023. Another Friday. And you can pre-order it today. That's awesome. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Pre-order it today. Well, well. Looks like you've had your fill. I guess, Duke. Such I guess, man. Display, I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. An Wait arch, a minute. He's going to meet up with the merchant? Is good. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. Bro, I'll what if, like... to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. Huh. Oh, no. What if there was like an RE game where it's like all the merchants, all the people that try to help you out, those are your enemies, actually? Like a plot twist. That's kind of fun. PlayStation. PlayStation. All right. Man, that was kind of cool. That was actually a really dope showcase. Capcom, thanks for uh, putting that showcase on for us. That was actually really dope. Like we got to see Resident Evil 7, like the DLC, which I'm looking forward to. We get to see it next week. And also there's going to be a stream with uh, the voice actress for Lady Dimitrescu and also Jill Valentine. They're going to be playing the game together. And I think they're doing a cosplay contest and some other stuff too. But that's going to be happening next week on the 28th. And then also they showed off the VR for VR2. And I am, I'm going to try it. I just I can't make promises I'm gonna survive it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy because I'm already like just regular games. I'm already pretty bad and then like VR scary games. I don't know. I might not make it through there. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> we're gonna try it anyways because I need to have that. I want to try the experience, you know, so I can at least be like, I've been there. I tried it, you know, but so that, that does look really dope. And then it has a lot of things like, you know, it has the haptic feedback on the headset. So when you know have like little bat things flying at you, you're gonna feel it in your face. Uh, your controllers have like extra like vibration, like different directional vibration stuff too. So you can feel like when you shoot your guns or like, Use your knife or stuff like that. It's gonna be really, really cool. I saw Resident Evil 4 like remake. That looks amazing. Like that is that's what we need. We need when I think of remakes, when they're like, yeah, we're gonna remake this old game. That's the kind of glow up I'm expecting. You know what I'm saying? You go from like RE4, which was like a great game, uh, but, but like it had like a lot of like different kind of you know visual, you know, not the perfect visuals and whatnot. And then you have now the new version of it. It looks amazing. Like it looks so good. Like it could and I, for me, I'm like, oh, I could look better, but like that is it looks really awesome. <laughs> like it looks real it looks great definitely looking forward to that i just hope it all everything runs like super awesome i know they're gonna probably port it later on to probably like pc and stuff like that so people that are like you know waiting for it on steam and stuff like that you, you know you can maybe get it a little bit later but also do remember that a lot of games that are coming to ps5 will also be on pc because they're doing that pc client thing so that will maybe that's gonna be one of those games where they're actually gonna start having them so look forward to those like you know to those kind of things coming up developments and besides that like man that was that was pretty cool that's pretty cool got spoiled some stuff i didn't know yet i guess i gotta go finish resident evil 7 this next week i'm gonna do that so that was fun uh <laughs> besides that you know tell me what you guys think leave comments down below 
Also, make sure you guys like the video or just like it. It's up to you, really. And, and you know, if you made it this far, we're already here. We've been watching this whole thing for roughly half an hour now. Hit that subscription button, man. Subscribe. Hit the bell, you know, so you'd be notified when my videos go live. Normally, I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, when special events like this happen, I'll, I'll like, you know, I'll try to put it up the day of or like the next morning. So definitely look forward to that. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.